Hello, Nightlings. I hope you're all doing great today. Today, we're going to walk through meiosis. Before I go through the phases of meiosis, I want to point out a few things. One is that meiosis involves two sets of divisions. In other words, there are two PMATs or there are two mitotic divisions. Additionally, meiosis results in the formation of four daughter cells. These daughter cells, they are genetically different from each other and also different from the parent cell. A point to remember is that before a cell starts to divide, what you will see in the nucleus are chromatins, not chromosomes. Now for today's example, we're looking at a parent cell containing four chromosomes. Before a cell can divide, it will undergo a preparation phase, which is called the interphase. During the interphase, the cell will grow and also the DNA will replicate. What DNA replication means is that the number of DNA will be doubled. This will result in twice the number of chromatids because the number of DNA accounts for the number of chromatids. If you look at the diagram now, you'll realize that the number of chromatids and the number of DNA will be doubled. Also, in the interphase, you'll have regular metabolic processes taking place. Before I move any further, I just wanted to make a note that I'm using bold green and bold blue for my starting chromosomes. After the interphase, the cell will now undergo division 1 or otherwise called meiosis 1. This is where the magic takes place. The first phase of Division 1 is prophase 1. This is different from regular mitosis in that you have synapsis and crossing over taking place. What synapsis means is that homologous chromosomes will come together while crossing over literally means that they will exchange genetic materials. In other words, genes will cross over from non-sister chromatid to non-sister chromatid. Now, what will also happen as a result of synapsis is that tetrads will be formed. What tetrads mean, or the word tetra comes from four, which means each group of homologous chromosome you would have in that cluster four chromatids. Also, what I wanted to notice because of crossing over, notice our bold green and bold blue, they will start to change formation. And notice the color formation because of that exchange of genetic materials. So after the prophase one, we'll undergo now our metaphase one. And what is different in metaphase one than the regular mitosis metaphase is that the chromosomes are aligned in the middle of the cell, but this time in pairs. So notice you see two lines of chromosomes going down the center of the cell. At this point as well, we can talk about our spindle fiber that connect to the central mare on the chromosomes and they will extend right to the central inside of the centrosome. After metaphase one, they will go on the under phase one and this is where the chromosomes will move to opposite poles of the cell. Once that is completed, we undergo telophase one. And this is where a nuclear membrane will form. The chromosomes will also cluster to the ends of the cell. Also, our cleavage furrow will also form. And a point to note here is that each new nucleus has half the number of chromosomes than what we started out with. That is why meiosis 1 or division 1 is classified as a division by reduction because the number of chromosomes decrease by half. Once telophase 1 is completed, then the cell will continue to divide along the cleavage furrow to divide the cytoplasm. And this process is called cytokinesis. And now we have our two new cells forming because of division of that cytoplasm. These two new cells now, they will undergo division 2. Division 2 is just like mitosis. The splitting or the dividing is smooth, nice and easy. The first phase in our division 2 is our prophase 2. 
and this is just like mitosis the chromosomes will condense and after they condense they undergo metaphase 2 which they align in the middle of the cell and just like mitosis they align in the meta along the metaphase plate in single file then during the anaphase they will move to opposite poles of the cell opposite sides of the cell then telophase will occur where the nuclei will form the different nuclei will form or two nuclei in each cell will form and then the cleavage furrow then it will continue to divide by cytokinesis and now resulting into a four new daughter cells and our four new daughter cells they are unique as mentioned before they are genetically different from each other and also different from the parent cell so if you notice the color pattern in each cell they are actually different from each other and here we are at the end of this cell division and so just a point to note that meiosis makes us unique have a wonderful and a blessed day see you soon